Monday, June 5th, and it is the day of our Fête du Village, which we do every year on the first Sunday of June. And for obvious reasons, haven't been able to done, uh, do that last year and the year before. So this is, we're picking up this wonderful habit of coming together and it's like a potluck kind of thing. So everybody just brings some food and then there will be usually a huge piece of meat, uh, exquisite gratin dauphinois that I absolutely love and a whole bunch of desserts and gougères and entrees and aperitifs and... So basically we'll go there around noon and usually come back around six. And all this time we're eating and chatting with our neighbors. So I'm really looking forward to finally be able to do that again. I am going to make an apple cake. I've shown that before in an earlier vlog I believe and then some people said, could you please share the recipe Lots of builders on site today again as the building works for the kitchen continue and we also try to finish some smaller projects in between guests such as closing off the swimming pool area and also making the stairs from the cabin to the swimming pool area. Mm. 
Non, non, c'est une vidéo. Fromage. <rire> While editing this video, I found footage of when I visited the market in Bonn with my American friends. Way back, it feels, that was April 30, but it was really nice, so I wanted to share it with you in this video. That is gorgeous. Do you say that again on camera? Uh, it's unique to Bonn and Dijon. Yeah. The colored tiles were created by craftsmen from Flanders. Belgium. Flanders, yeah. Belgium. That is in Belgium, yeah. They work for the dukes or kings of Burgundy. On va, donner, on va commencer par les dames. Ça vous va Pour moi, qu'il y a tout notre voir. Hein. À un moment donné, c'est le ventre. That's coming up to 88. Hold on a second, it's at 72 right now. Passing. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, different kind of lemon curd or lemon candy and tea. And if it's a natural process, that means if they harvest the cherries and let them dry out. Really uh, recommend the famous and the bresson. Yeah, and if you're a big fan of lobster, then this one is really good too. But it's not as classic as the two other ones.
and for Ooh. breakfast also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then this one is um, it's called Corazon. I don't know if you know this. It's a very old, ancient grain. Now all we needed was wine, so I called a local winemaker and see if we could just stop by and get some bottles. And then we ended up being surprised with an actual wine tasting. This is Sarama 2020. That was a wonderful year, wasn't it? Uh, 20, 2020 was a really yeah, good 20, year. 2020 is pretty good. Yeah. It's small quantity, but uh, yeah. so good in quality. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, it was because it was so hot and dry. Yeah, very yeah. hot. Uh, while the situation we stay, and we, we are here to, to, to receive people. And it's a wine to drink uh, one, two years old, not, not to, to be aged. That's a little bit more ça. That's good, Doug. You can buy it today and drink all of it today. <laughs> and uh, this, this type of white so that is driven by the plot or the age, uh, which it's by the plot of grapes. Yeah, no, no, no. It's Chardonnay. It's the same grape, but okay. coming just coming from the plot. From that plot. We call that the terroir. It's oh, unique. Wow. We, uh, yeah. we can't explain, but it's like that. Hello. The rosé wine is a, it's very rare in Burgundy. Just two villages produce rosé. He was explaining that the rosé, there's only two places in Burgundy where they make rosé wine. Yeah. To Orch. Orch, yeah, the small, small village. village at two kilometers. Yeah. And uh, Marsan et la Côte on Wait. the north. Yeah, which is more next to Dijon. Yeah, just yeah. next to Dijon. Next to Dijon, right. Oh. Yeah. And so the rosé that you make is made from which grape? Uh, Gamay. Gamay. It's typical of here, fin, of Orch. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the, the rosé of uh, Marsanet is with is made with uh, Pinot? Pinot. Yeah. Yeah, and the Gamay for me is more fruity and more light. Yeah. So can you explain uh, again what, because I never understood what so Premier Cru, Cru uh, Grand Prix Premier Cru, Premier Cru. you have the appellation uh, village or commune, it's the name of a commune, for example yeah. it's saint Yeah. and sometimes in some, some villages there is place which are very known for uh, own taste and it's called Premier Cru and it's a uh, a place with a name, and Donc you ça, have the name bien. of the place. Yeah. And but it, you can have several producers in, the, in this premier cru. Oui. Okay. Yeah. And all of, <laughs> over the premier cru, you have grand cru, and grand cru is just one plot, or two plots, but it's oh, very okay. short, very small. very small. It's very famous. For example, okay. for example, okay. Montrachet. Okay. Maybe you know. No. Yeah, <laughs> Montrachet. It's one of the, the, the most Mont known. Yeah. And it's a, a white one which is uh, export uh, 95%. <laughs> so while my friends took care of getting the wine, I had to do one last thing. And that was going to the hardware store to get something for the project of the build of the kitchen in the future holiday home. I really do hope I can share lots of progress on that project in one of the next videos because I'm dying to have that kitchen finished. Thank you so much for watching again. If you want to support the channel, please like this video and leave me a comment and I'll see you next time.